हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर मयूर साहिदा एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन इट इज ऑल्सो द पार्ट ऑफ द जनरल पैथोलॉजी इन टू द चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इफ यू आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम द हर्ष मोहन एज वेल एज दिस हाइपर सेंसिटिव रिएक्शन ऑल्सो कवर्ड इन टू द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इन द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इम्यूनोलॉजी सो यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शंस वी विल डिस्कस ऑल द टाइप ऑफ हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेफिनेशन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी हाइपर हाइपर मीन्स इट्स एन एग्जरेटेड रिस्पॉन्स इन अ कंट्री वेन द आर्मी इज देयर द पुलिस इज देयर दे आर फॉर द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ देयर ओन पीपल बट वेन दीज आर्मी स्टार्ट किलिंग देयर ओन कंट्री पीपल just like the same into our body the immune system is for protection of our body our body's cell our body's organ and the tissue but when these immune system starts attacking onto our body cells that is or it starts attacking our tissues organs and create the or damage them that is considered as the hypersensitivity reaction it is also known as the inappropriate immune response sometimes due to our life also some events occur we sometimes give exaggerated response and after the response we realize that we have reacted overly the same thing in our with our immune system so for the understanding of the hypersensitivity reactions scientists doctors have divided that hypersensitivity reaction into the four types the fifth new type is there that is also modified type 2 reaction so here first of all we are going to discuss about the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction this type 1 hypersensitivity reaction is actually rapidly developing hypersensitivity reaction when the antigen or the pathogen is earlier recognized or you can say when it is already recognized just like if you are hating some person and if he or she come in front of you and you as you know that person earliest and you think that that person is harmful for you you just react that just like the same thing into our body when our body is already recognizing some particular amount of the antigen and when this antigen again enters into our body just within a 15 to 30 minutes our body reacts with the antigen and produce antigen antibody reaction that is known as the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction and the antibody which is uh, regulating this type of uh, immune response is ige antibody this antibody also produced by the b cells or you can say mainly the mast cells these mast cells are carrying those such type of uh, ige antibodies onto their uh, plasma membrane so whenever these antigen come it will bind with that uh, antibody antigen antibody reaction occurs and the granules are released into the surrounding tissue these granules are containing inflammatory mediators chief inflammatory mediator is the histamine and this histamine is a vasodilator and it will do the dilatation of the surrounding vascular system and the fluid comes out from the vascular compartment to the intracellular part and vasodilatation fluid accumulation and it will leads to the edema and that type of a reaction can be two types these two type reaction one can just occur on to the local part and another which is known as a overspreading all over the body then it is known as the systemic type 1 hypersensitivity reaction you must understand what are the examples of the local hypersensitivity reaction and the systemic hypersensitivity reaction you will understand by just examples 
so first example let's take the asthma into the asthma in our respiratory passage trachea bronchus they are there and as some pathogens some persons are overreactive their trachea bronchus part ige antibodies are already situated so when the allergen or pathogen come and we broadly tell it allergen some dust particles or it can be the anything drugs or some anti serum when they come the uh, trachea and the bronchus part the ige antibody always there and it reacts and produce the bronchospasm we can say the muscles inside that bronchus are goes into the stage of the spasm they are contracted and so mainly the expiration becomes the problem inspiration expiration process becomes in problem so that's how it is uh, uh, not affecting all over the body it is uh, onto the local part over the trachea bronchus bronchioles that's why it is known as the local type of type 1 hypersensitivity reaction into the systemic let's take the example uh, we can say um, penicillin when we give injections of penicillin patient to the patient intramuscularly or intravenously it goes into the blood circulation but if the patient's body have already formed the ige antibody then it will reacts with this penicillin and it will produce the reaction all over the body all over the body then it is considered as the systemic anaphylaxis reaction the one thing which i uh, want to emphasize here that here the antibodies are fixed antibodies are fixed onto the cell but the antigen is the may it is free so antibody is bound and antigen is uh, free so this antigen can move all over uh, that is considered as the type 1 hypersensitivity reaction